Green Kalinga is a perennial sedge known to create dense mats of weeds and turf. The seed heads are known to produce over 5,000 seeds, taking over entire residential lawns quickly. In this video, we'll show you how to identify green Kalinga, how to get rid of green Kalinga on your property, and how to prevent green Kalinga from growing back. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Green Kalinga is a perennial weed that can grow up to 15 inches in height when unmowed. In areas that see mowing, the plant adapts and grows more prostrate. It produces triangular stems that grow narrow leaves, usually in sets of three. As a perennial, it does grow underground rhizomes that allow the plant to survive, but unlike other sedges, it does not grow underground tubers. When this plant flowers, it produces a recognizable, dense, globular flower head with over 100 green to white flowers. The flower head is about 3 eighths of an inch in diameter. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Green Kalinga seeds germinate in spring when soil temperatures warm to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. This plant thrives in areas with poor drainage where it is frequently wet or over-irrigated. Green Kalinga prefers areas with full sunlight, but once established, it can creep into more shaded areas. Finally, this plant produces flowers from May to October. Common sites where this weed occurs include, but are not limited to, residential lawns, golf courses, and athletic fields. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep people and pets out of the treated areas until products dry completely. To eliminate green Kalinga on commercial or residential properties, use a selective post-emergent herbicide that's labeled not to injure your property's turf grass. We recommend you check out Sedge Hammer Nut Sedge Killer. Sedge Hammer is made with halosulfuron methyl and controls sedges and other weeds in warm season and cool season turf. To treat green Kalinga, mix the labeled rate of 0.9 grams of Sedge Hammer in 1 to 2 gallons of water per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Add 2 teaspoons of a non-ionic surfactant per 1 gallon of water to your solution. We recommend you mix and apply your product with a handheld sprayer or a backpack sprayer. Spot treat any green Kalinga you've found. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the weeds are fully coated and spray the weeds to the point of wet but not run off. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. Conduct follow-up applications as necessary. Reapplication intervals with sedge hammer range from 6 to 10 weeks after the initial treatment. Applications are most effective when the plant is young and actively growing, before flower or seed production. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. To prevent unwanted plants like green Kalinga from growing on your lawn, we recommend you promote the health of your turf to reduce the conducive conditions that allow weeds and disease to take hold. Mow your grass at proper intervals to maintain a thick growing density. A lawn dense with taller, trimmed grass is better able to choke out weeds and other unwanted grasses and prevent them from establishing. Reduce the shade cast on your lawn by trimming overgrown shrubbery and tree branches, rake away leaf litter and pick up any debris, and employ a proper watering schedule to provide the local grass with enough water to strengthen its roots, but not so much that will encourage weeds like green Kalinga. Many grasses require one inch of water every week. Apply the water all at once in the morning so it has time to seep into the ground without evaporating in the sun. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop green Kalinga from establishment, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.